Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're new to this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And uh, spring is coming. I mean, it's a gloomy day outside today, but spring is coming and it is time to get these plants repotted. These are the broccoli and cabbage plants that I started Oh, a couple of weeks ago, if you've been following my videos, you, you saw the video probably where I started these. And uh, honestly, I didn't do a very good job of taking care of them. Some of them look pretty bad, but some of them are doing okay. So I'm going to go ahead and repot them. Um, you can tell like this one here, it's dead, completely dead. And that's completely my fault. I kind of forgot to water them for a couple of days. So I came back in, I realized, oh no, I forgot to water them. And then uh, I, I watered them and some of them came back to life and are doing pretty good. Um, others of them just uh, died off. So I'm probably going to, uh, I'm going to repot these, see if I can't get, some of these have a couple of starts in them, see if I can't separate them out, maybe get a couple of plants out of those and then restart some. I started them a little bit early anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But here's a couple of things I want to show you is that these are, you know, up now. Hopefully, let me step up so I can get a little closer to the camera. Hopefully you can see that now. Hopefully the camera's focusing on that and you can see they've got some true leaves on them. That means it's time to get them out of this sterile potting mix or seed starting mix, I should say, into a potting mix. And I've got a potting mix here. I don't know what kind of stay green or stag green, something like that. It doesn't really matter what kind of potting mix you're using, a potting soil. It just needs to be something that has a compost or a fertilizer in it because these things need fed at this point. Um, I'm just going to be planting them in some uh, yellow or some red, get my colors right, red solo cups here. And uh, these were reused. Last year this was a uh, banana pepper. So I got to peel the tape off here so I don't get that confused. And uh, repotting these is pretty easy. Let me show you how I'm gonna do, I'll do one or two of them real quick, and then uh, you don't need to see me repot all of them, and then we'll move on. I've had some couple of people ask me about the lights I use for seed starting, so I'll show you those two here in just a minute. Oh, let me get the tape off this. Good grief, that's on there. Yeah, good enough. That'll work, I can put another piece of tape on there, I'll know what that is. So I'll get several of these started here real quick. All right, let's see if I can't get some potting soil here. All right, got a couple of them going here. All right, so the process of repotting these things is pretty simple really. Ah, oh, making a mess already. So what I've done is I've just filled this cup up with potting mix all the way to the top. I'm gonna make a little hole right there where I can put the, uh, the plant in when I get it out of the container. And I should be able to just pop these out of here. Now I'm gonna take one that has just one plant in it right now. And I should be able to just pop it right out of the container. There it is. Now you can see the roots that are grown up in there. So even though this isn't a very big container, it's not a very big plant, it's grown roots all through that. That's one of the reasons why you need to repot it up to a bigger pot. This should be plenty big enough until I need to go outside with them here in about a month. Let me take some of this dirt out, it'll be easier, I think. And I can just repot that whole pod in there. You don't want to go, these are broccoli, um, so it's not like tomato plants. Uh, tomato plants, you plant them pretty much as deep as you can. So you would plant a tomato plant up past its first set of leaves when you're repotting it. But with uh, broccoli, um, most of your like lettuces, most other plants, you're just going to plant it as deep as the soil level is. So I don't want to plant it any deeper really than where the soil level is on the original um, pod that it came out of. Now I will say something else. It's good to let these dry out a little bit before you repot because you get this nice, and it just pops right out of there. It stays together. So that's pretty nice, pretty convenient. Okay, that should do. So I'm just going to backfill around it, basically. Pack it down a little bit as I go. And there we go. I got one repotted. This is broccoli, so got to remember that. I think I'll plant all mine and then I'll make labels and I'll stick it all on the cups there. 
Where's my other cup? There we go. Now I find it easier when I'm doing this stuff to uh, go ahead and fill a cup up and keep an extra cup here by its side to uh, use that as the uh, kind of the fill cup to fill it the rest of the way up. So I'm gonna pack that stuff down. I'm gonna get me another plant. Now this one I'm gonna try to do a little bit differently. Like I said, I've got uh, a couple of these. This has three plants growing in this pot. So let me get this out of here and I'll show you what I'm gonna try to do with it. We'll see if it works. Now I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera. I'm filming myself here so it's a little bit hard. What I'm gonna do is kind of just gently tap this dirt, try to get this off of here. And I'm gonna try to separate these plants out without tearing up the roots too much and see if I can't get at least two, maybe all three of them out of here and plant those. We'll see how well that works. And I'm just kind of working this dirt a little bit loose, trying to shake it off. And sometimes you can tease one of those plants out of there if you, you're just kind of gentle with it. We'll see how well this works. The roots are gonna be all entangled. And if you break one or two roots, it's not that big of a deal. But if you can get a couple of them out of there without tearing all the roots off, there we go, there we go. There we go, that's working. Look at that. I got one whole plant with a big old root wad there, so let me, uh, there's my plant. My, let me stick that in here. I have to fill it up with some dirt. I don't have enough dirt in there. And we'll see, that may or may not live. I'm early enough in the season that if it doesn't make it, I can restart them. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, there's a pretty good chance that will make it. Just gotta pack it down pretty good. See if I can do the same thing. I got two more plants here. I may or may not be able to get them apart. Look at there, there we go. So look at there, I got two more plants out of that. So even though I lost a bunch of these, I still got plenty. Normally I wouldn't do that. Normally if all of these had done well, I would just pinch off the extra ones that, that I don't need. Pick the strongest one, pinch off the others, and just plant the whole thing. But I'm trying to uh, get a little bit more out of this so I don't have to restart seeds. If I have to restart seeds, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but see what I can get out of it first. All right, let me get these potted up real quick. All right, so I got all these planted. I ended up with uh, 15 broccoli plants. I ended up with 10 cabbage plants. Some of them look pretty good. Some of them don't look so good. Like I said, I kind of forgot to water them for a couple of days. Don't do that. Make sure you water them. But again, um, you know, I'm at a point, I mean, it's still early enough. So I've, I've got plenty of time. I can restart these if I need to, if they don't take off within the next day or two. Um, I've gone ahead and watered these. And the way I water these is I just fill the tray up to about here and uh, with water and I'm letting that soak up through the bottom of these cups. All these cups have little holes in the bottom of them so it'll soak up through, it'll absorb that water up through. The first day or two, I'm gonna keep water in this tray up to about oh, a quarter, maybe a halfway and I'm gonna try to keep water in it all the time. Let these things get really good and hydrated. Then after that, I'll just you know water them as they start to dry out. I'll be able to fill at the top as they start to get dry and I'll add water in and I'll just put enough in to where they soak it all up within about an hour. And you'll get a pretty good handle on that after a couple of days of water and how long it takes them to soak the water up, how long it, you know, how much water you need to add. It, you know, it'll probably be somewhere maybe around a quarter of the tray full for a full tray of these things. Um, that'll be about as much water as I need to give them every couple of days, just depending on how much humidity is in the air, how much water is evaporated, all that good stuff. So just uh, again, as they start to feel dry on the top, then I'll add water to the bottom and let the water absorb up through the cups. Now. You know, people have asked me about my lights. These are just four foot shop lights. Like you'd buy at any box store. I think they're $10 for a light set. Um, I have, this is gonna be bright, so it may not show. I don't think it's gonna show on camera at all. But I have a uh, warmer bulb and a cooler bulb. And I've got some bulbs I can show you. Let me grab them here in just a second. But I've got these hung on chains and there's a hook up here so I can adjust the height of the, uh, of the bulb. So let me uh, adjust these down. You want these down to where, like I said, they're basically touching the plant. I mean, just as low as you can get them without hindering the plant itself without, let me turn around this way. I can't see what I'm doing. I've got to block the camera to do this. But you want them down on the plant just as low as you can get them and just almost touching the plant. There we 
go. All right, I think we're good. I've got one plant right there in the middle that actually is touching the bulb, but uh, that'll be okay. As these guys start to stand up, start to grow a little bit, I'll be able to raise these bulbs up and down. So let me grab a bulb, a bulb real quick. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about with warm and cool settings, what kind of bulbs you need. All right, so I've got a couple of bulbs here. Here's one of them right here. And uh, this is, you buy these in any box store, the same place you buy the uh, shop lights from, whatever. You don't need full spectrum lighting for these plants because we're not going to be growing them to the point where they're flowering. They're going to be going outside. This is just starting them. So this is all you need right here. Um, if you look at the bulb, it's going to have a Kelvin rating on it right on the bulb itself. I don't know how well that's showing up. This one says it's 6500K. So this is a cool white bulb. It's going to be very close to daylight. And if you can find bulbs that are 5600 Kelvin, um, those are going to be pretty much the same spectrum as the sun, same you know daylight colored. You could just use two of those. It's going to be just fine. But I kind of like to alternate. I like to put a warm bulb and a cool bulb. This is considered a warm bulb. This is 20, uh, where's the Kelvin rating? It's 2900 lumens, but it is 3000 Kelvin. 3000 Kelvin is the rating on this. So this is going to be more of an orangish, a yellowish, what they consider a warm white light. And I like to alternate these. Each one of these has one warm bulb, one cool bulb in it. Um, I find that that works pretty well. But again, if you can find just 5600, 6500 Kelvin, you could use two of those light bulbs in there. It's going to work just fine. You're not going to have any problems. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. Um, I apologize, it's a little bit kind of uh, cumbersome to get in here and film all this kind of stuff for you guys. And I was in kind of a hurry to get it out. I've been incredibly busy, so if I'm slow to respond to comments lately, um, I apologize for that. If this video isn't quite as polished as normal, not that I make all that polished videos all the time, apologize for that too, guys. I've just been kind of cramped for time, very, very busy, trying to get a video out for you guys. Needed to get this done, so it was a good opportunity to film this video and get it out for you as well. So anyway... Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. As always, God bless.